Hello, Dr. Ben Galliard here, and I would love to share with you a little bit about our process, about how we take someone's brain from degenerating to regenerating. So remember, neurodegeneration, losing brain cells, is something that happens all the time in people. What the biggest issue is, is that when we lose too many brain cells, or we're not building an, up enough of our brain cells. And so we have our neurodegeneration column here and we have our neuroregeneration column. So anytime that is out of balance, we get just like what happens with when we have osteoporosis. So we lose bone. Well, we're always losing bone. We have cells that are called osteoclasts that are continually breaking down bone. We have cells called osteoblasts that are building up bone all the time. It's when this gets out of balance that we have the issues and we are quote unquote losing bone. We're always losing bone and we're always building bone. Just like the brain, we're always losing brain and we're always building brain. The hippocampus, which is one of the major areas for emotions and memories and different things like that in the brain, we're rebuilding about 700 brain cells in the hippocampus a day if everything is working like it's supposed to because we're also breaking down a lot of cells in the hippocampus as well. So by the time we hit 50 years of age, we should have regenerated that entire part of the brain. But for a lot of people, we have too much degeneration and not enough regeneration. So I wanna go through a couple of these different scenarios that we're looking at that may cause too much neurodegeneration. Obviously, one of the big ones that we think about is that head injury, traumatic brain injury, concussion, loss of consciousness. Any of these different things are going to contribute to us losing way more brain cells than we should. We get that bouncing of the brain inside the skull, the nerve twists, and the nerve ends up dying. We get neurodegeneration blood sugar imbalances. They call Alzheimer's type three diabetes now. Why? Because we're losing so many nerve cells when that blood sugar is elevated. Mycotoxins, one of the big things that we see is molds and other issues that are contributing to that damage. Infections, viruses, Lyme disease, a lot of different things are gonna be contributing to neurodegeneration on the infection side. And then one of the big ones that we don't think about causing neurodegeneration, but it does, PTSD. Traumatic events, drama, trauma, any of these things that really stress us out, whether it's recurrent low grade or one or two time big, big stressors. PTSD, the research shows that we have considerable amount of brain loss after those traumatic events. So neurodegeneration, are we breaking down too much? When we get into looking at the brain map and figuring out where all this degeneration is taking place, we have to slow these down and then we have to start that rebuilding process. Part of the foundation is doing that brain map where we're able to evaluate all those different areas of the brain, figure out which ones are going too fast, which ones are going too slow. A lot of times when we have neurodegeneration, we'll see slow brain waves in that area, some blue and dark blue, meaning we've lost brain cells and we're not firing as much as we should. So some of the different things that we look at, neurofeedback, one of the big tools that we use to actually teach the brain to do something different, teach it to go into a different pattern, to really get to that place of working better. The oxygen therapy, even better than hyperbaric, we're able to get oxygen really strong into that brain with some perfusion where it's able to regenerate and balance itself out. Specific supplementations, we have brain repair kit where we use glutathione, resveratrol, pine bark, a bunch of different tools to help regenerate that brain. The functional medicine piece, we have to look at vitamin D, we have to look at anemias, all these other tools that could be affecting whether that brain is able to repair or not. And then the neurology piece, is the cerebellum deficient? Are there exercises you can do, eye movements, all types of different things that we can teach the brain to start regenerating. So remember, anytime we start thinking about is the brain losing cells, yes, always is losing cells, but is it accelerated because any of these? And then are we rebuilding? We're always rebuilding, but are we rebuilding enough? Is anything slowing us down? Are there things that we can do to actually speed up that process? And instead of it taking years and years to get to that point where the brain is repairing and rebuilding, we can speed that up into months. So call us, schedule in for that consultation. We can go over exactly where you are in this process and we'll get a brain map done and show you exactly where we can help you get your brain healing and where it needs to go.